Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about electroculture and heart felt energy things. So there's going to be two parts to it. One part I'm going to give you a background that maybe you're familiar with, and if you want to skip that part, you can. So you can move, you know, check the video at the bottom and move it until you find me holding the heart felt energizer fan. Or uh, I'll see if I can leave a link down below. It'll have the time, you know, like five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it is. You click on it, and it'll give you the how-to. All right. So, if you're not familiar with electroculture, it's a very beneficial. People, you'll see lots and lots of videos on YouTube of people having tremendous growth in their gardens. Things grow faster. They grow healthier. There's far fewer bugs. Everything about it seems to be beneficial, and it's basically just taking a copper wire and sticking it in the ground with a piece of wood attached to it. <clears throat> but I'd like to make a couple of uh, improvements on that for you. Um, and that is, this, oh, this is an example of a bunch of copper wires. I just want you to focus on one at a time. All right. So you see the big fat one there? You see how it's braided? It's twisted one around the other. Well, the little ones are twisted around one around the other as well. What size gauge you use for your garden, it's up to you. The thicker it is, the harder it is to work with. But, uh, you know, it's up to you. Obviously, the thicker one's stronger, thinner ones are not as strong. Uh, so what you'll do with your copper wire, you've got a, and I, did, I looked around, I didn't have any copper wire here at the moment. Uh, you got to, you, you take out a length, whatever you want, and then you fold it in half. Now you've got, and, the, and the, there's advantages to that. I hope I don't confuse you. If you don't understand this, that's fine. When the wi wire is just going straight across and not bent, you've got a negative side and a positive side. The energy is going in one direction. When you fold it over, you might say that the bottom side is going in this direction, the top side is going in that direction. So they cancel each other out and it produces new properties for the copper. <clears throat> now, you're going to take that piece of copper wire that you've bent in half and you're going to stick the bent portion end into a electric power drill. And on the other end you can hold it with the pliers. You turn on the power drill and it will gradually wind your copper, wind it, turning it into a braid. All right. Now, you can take that copper wire as it is and, get, and then get a, a broom handle or something and wrap it around the broom handle and part of it. And, uh, and then in, this, in that part that's, that you've made a coil out of, you can stick a piece of wood. And if you want, on top of that, you can stick a, a quartz crystal. And so they're touching each other. Everything's touching. And, uh, you know, if the, if the wood is bigger, which is most likely, put the wood at the bottom and the crystal at the top so it won't fall out. All right. So you can take that and either stick it in the ground, or if you want to have even more power, you can get a solar-powered uh, hanger and hang it so that, it's, so that the sun is making the thing turn, and it will turn up to 50 revolutions a minute. And that activity increases the power. And, it, and it's because of the same reason that, you know, uh, Nikola Tesla, he invented the hydroelectric plants. And that's based on spinning copper. The spinning of the copper turns a non-electrified river into electricity for 40 million families, say, from the Hoover Dam. You know, so you've got families and businesses, traffic lights, street lights, all kinds of things. So it's an amazing, amazing thing, the spinning action. I don't understand it, but he did, and, and it works. It's, it's also an, the alternator in your car also spins. That's what helps to keep your car going. So uh, uh, now I want to talk to you about... Oh, but I was going to, let me, let me back up. I want to give you a little bit more background information. You might have seen some of this, but I think it's helpful, particularly if you're into electroculture. 
um, I had the pages marked off and the pa paper fell out. So bear with me. Um, I want to show you some plants. Um, first I'll show you the after. This is the plant years later. See how healthy and, and it is? Well, uh, it's a geranium, by the way. And there's pictures when you can see how, here we go. Sorry for the delay. You see the one plant in the middle that's growing? Well, on all of these plants, he, is, he, he put an illness in the plant right here. He, he called it a cancer. I don't know if plants get cancer, but you can see it's still got it there. Um, but it's still growing, whereas the other ones died off. So this one's doing better, and that, that little cancer fell off. Now, you, you might be able to see the wire here going around to there to there, just, a, just above that growth there. You can see the wire. And it's attached to a piece of wood going into the ground. So you notice that the copper is not in the ground, although people who are doing electroculture are putting it in the ground and getting great results. But, as you can see, it does not have to be in the ground, right? So when you wonder about the electrolyte, uh, the heart rate energizer, you say, well, it's, you know, how can it work? It doesn't have to be in the ground, it's frequencies. All right, so, so then he treated people. So I want you to understand that the same, the same frequencies um, are beneficial for plants, pets, livestock, human beings, the animals in the wild, everything. It's the energy that we, it's basically the energy we get from the sun, because it's, it's irregularly shaped. And I, I, I didn't mean to startle you, but he's fortunately the black and white. But notice not only the lesion that you see, but notice how smooth the woman's skin is. She's 82 years old. Look at her upper lip, look at her chin line, all the way, and her whole cheekbone, and her skin. Look how young she's looking. And that's from just three sessions for three weeks at 15 minutes a session. And she recovered. People have lost up to 200 pounds. Um, so this energy is profound. And we're going to show you, he made it, he said in his book, I don't know if I showed you the cover. The Secret of Life, George's Lukowski. He said that if he added movement to it, it would be stronger, but he never did. So here's some, not great pictures, but here's a picture of an example of a multi-wave oscillator. Is that here? No, here. There. And then, in this picture, it's hard to see, but there are two of them hanging. One, two. And people would sit in between them and they would have great recoveries. So I just want you to see this. It's important to understand it's good for all life, whether it be plant life, human life, all life. Um, so now let's, yeah, oh, and by the way, if you want more information, I, I've written about it in this book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? It's available on Amazon. Um, now I'm going to show you a heartfelt energizer with the plate already on it. Disregard this pyramid. That was a phase I was going through and I decided to add that to it. It is not necessary. Not necessary. So, in order to put this together, it's very simple. Now, you would receive this in the mail. You would have contacted Philippe at, uh, on Etsy his website on Etsy is Applicum. He also has his own website with an email address at the very bottom of the page where you can write to him from there. Or on Etsy, you can you, there's a contact thing on the upper, well, middle or upper right-hand side. A little envelope shaped thing and it says contact. You click on that and you can tell him that you want one of these plates and you want the plate to have a nine inch pre-designed hole in the center. So let me show you how fast this is. I've already got the plate on there and I've got to take it off 
I got to remember which way to turn it to uh, unscrew it. Okay, so there's the knob, right? Yeah, and I'm hiding the, the pyramid because that's not part of this. Here's the plate. This is eight inches or 200 millimeters. He also, I believe, has 300. And he has 500. The 500 one just has a huge, thick uh, multi-wave oscillator design, whereas this has a combination. Either one is just fine. A 12-inch a compared to the 8-inch. You say, oh, it's only four more inches, but the surface area is 2.78 times bigger, just on a 50% increase. All right? Now, the outside also is going faster. So they're very, very strong, and that's why people who have the 300 have told me they are just awesome. Now, the 500 is going to be even stronger. It's way bigger. And it just has this, uh, the Lukowski design of the multi-wave oscillator. Multi-wave oscillator. So, so you take your fan, and you've taken off the knob, right? Now you just uh, match up the hole. There. Okay, how long did that take? Two seconds? And then you uh, put the knob back on. I've got to bring this down here where I can actually control this. I, I, dropped it earlier. Uh, so I'm tightening this up a little bit. Voila. And it's tight. Now I just dropped this fan on the floor in the I was trying to shoot this video. And so I don't know if the fan's gonna work or, or whatever. And I don't want to turn it on to make an awful noise and scare you away. But uh, there it is. That's all there is to it. By the way, your electricity bill will go up. It would go up $2 a month to run this motor. However, that's, that's doing the calculations of, you know, wattage and time. However, you'll find your electric bill goes down because you will find that you are much more tolerant of both heat and cold. So, for example, I used to like it temperature set at 72 during the day in the summertime. Now I have it set at about 82. And at night I set it down to about 78. So I'm not using nearly as much air conditioning. Same thing is true in the winter time. Now I set it at about 65 during the day. And at night I'll put it down to 60 and sometimes down to 55. If I have to get up in the middle of the night, it's not really a problem. It's a little bit cool, but you know, I'll go to the bathroom, come back, and I'm not cold, I could, you know, cover myself up and 30 seconds later I'm fast asleep. So you will tolerate temperatures much greater, which is not only advantageous money-wise, but it's also more pleasant when you go outside in the extreme heat and the extreme cold. You'll be more tolerant of all of it, and that makes your life more pleasant. So. Uh, these, uh, oh, with the, f with the 500 millime millimeter, which would be about 20 inches, you, want to, you might need to take this back cage off. should be fine without it. Um, and if, you, if you're in a northern climb and you don't want a breeze blowing on you, you can either turn the fan away from you or get some really sharp scissors. I've got a pair of Westcott scissors with a gold handle, gold grip, and it's, um, I got it from Walmart. It, a year or two ago, cost me $15. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, let's see if there's anything else I'm trying to recall. Recall. Um, so, you can, did I mention, you can take the, you can, you can take your, your wound copper while you're waiting for this to come in. Get yourself, um, you know, a, a, a solar, s solar hanger. And it will spin the copper and you put that outside. If you have ceiling fans, you can hang them from the ceiling fan. Let them go around and around and around. All that generates wonderful, marvelous energy. It's very healing, as we've already seen, for plants and people. And, of course, for pets and livestock and wild animals. So we're going to change the world. 
I have the feeling that if we get two or three of these 200 ones out there, 200 mil, uh, millimeters, uh, the world is going to be unlike anything. We'll be going back to the Garden of Eden. So get get whatever size you want, get as many of them as you want, get them as you know, as I said, whatever size, get as big as you want, and go for it. It's going to be magnificent, magnificent. <laughs> well, I don't I don't mean to turn it into sales. It's, because I don't make any money by you buying these things, you know. Uh, you know, just just want the world to be a better place, don't you? Yeah, I know you do. So you take care and God bless. And let me turn this off. If I could get the thing to work. All right. God bless.